is bow thrower only possible in Resident Evil 4 Remake? Yes, but let me give you my own opinion on that. So the bow thrower is a weapon that only costs 10,000 pesetas and it's one of the early weapons that you can acquire in the game. If you're not playing professional, that is. It goes up to 2.40. Now, not only this weapon takes over 100,000 pesetas to fully upgrade, you also have to purchase the recipes for the bolts and the attachable mines. And if you want this weapon to be even more effective, you might want to trade in some spinels to get the attache case black, which increases the chances of you getting resources L, which are necessary to craft bolts. So to get bolts, you actually need a knife, a full knife, a a boot knife or a kitchen knife. Now, this is the biggest downside to the bolt thrower. Now, I understand why the developer chose that. Otherwise, it would be too overpowered to just be able to get your bolts back. Now, don't let me, don't let that deceive you though. Three <laughs> bolts isn't enough to even kill an enemy most of the time. I am playing on professional and I do believe that the bolt thrower was made for assisted or standard. Uh, I don't think the bolt thrower was made for professional. The only good thing about the bow thrower is that you can use attachable mines. Attachable mines are not that overpowered, but they deal a ton of damage for sure. Now, some people said, uh, yeah, to kill some enemies like the Chainsaw Sisters, you just have to put down some mines, five to six mines, and they will die immediately. While that might be true, it's not that effective because you already spent a ton of money just to be able to one shot what? two bosses that are not even main bosses, they're just mini bosses. And at that point, you might as well just power up a shotgun, the riot gun, or the TMP, which are more effective and reliable. And you can use them until the very end of the game. If you are familiar with my S Plus Professional Guide, I do make an extensive use of the TMP, and it ends up being a really good investment, as opposed to to the bolt thrower, which is only good in certain and specific situations. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Would you try this? I actually recommend you try a bolt thrower only run on a new game plus on standard. But uh, yeah, if I were to make this, um, if, I, if I were to make changes to this weapon and make it good, I think I would have the knives use durability instead of using a full knife in order to craft bolts. And I think that would make it a lot better. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Leave a like on this video if you found it entertaining or, or helpful. Check out my other videos. I do a lot of other games, but specifically Resident Evil. I'm going to be doing other games as well, so stay tuned for that. Hopefully you subscribe with all notifications on to know when I go live. And don't forget, leave a comment down below. I love reading all your comments. Anyway, hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.